today is not quite not quite what I was after. Uh, my legs hurt more than I want them to. Well, three hours late, down a person, and uh, the thing we both came to see is closed as of yesterday afternoon. So today's not off to a good start. There's the uh, Pluff turnoff. Hey Skip. Hey you. 1.6k in, coming up to the first river crossing now. The plan is to basically race out as far as I can before the sun comes up over the edge of the canyon and things start getting a little hot. Alright, here's the Moss Garden Tunnel. This is as far as we got yesterday. So I'm going to stop here, drink some water, then continue on. Two. Now, of course, being careful, some of these are slippery, some of these move, and some of these are slippery and move. A little less impressive than everyone told me it was going to be. I'm guessing that was what the ranger was doing when they drove back. All right, so despite that, let's press on. Plan is to get to the end, then explore the side tracks on the way back down. This is much better because when you're doing them on the way back, the walk back through the canyon is mostly downhill. And if you feel like you really just want to get back, you can skip the rest and just head back Whereas if you do them on the way up, you can't undo them. Cave. No, I don't think I'm reachable from here. This would be amazing in winter. It was about here where I came across another group of hikers, which I discovered was mostly made up of lone hikers that had joined the group. Unlike the Grampians, we do know what the hands mean here. Left hand means giving spirit to the land, right hand means gaining strength from it.
Big Bend campsite can be camped at all year round. The only downside is you have to hike all of your gear in. This actually does keep on going all the way up to Battleship Spur, and you could literally spend all day in here, so we headed back. Pink and purple. Okay, so up to the art gallery. The name art gallery certainly sells it short for a site of such religious and spiritual significance to the local tribes. Although it is certainly famous for having some of the best examples of stenciled cave painting in all of Australia. Unique to this area though, is the repeated presence of a female fertility symbol carved into the rock. Watts Canyon is home to the only non-coastal colony of king ferns, a type of fern which has no woody trunk to support the fronds, instead using water pressure in the fronds alone. At the time I'm editing this, the amphitheatre is still closed and will be until early March. Okay, turn off to the bluff. Uh, meet you at the car park in 30 minutes. 3030. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I'm walking towards that loop where you dropped me off. Yeah, I'll be there in about 10 seconds. Hello. Hey. That was a nice short walk. Well, I think that turned out all right in the end. It wasn't a total disaster, it was actually pretty good. Just a bit disappointed that we didn't get to do the amphitheater. We actually could have done it if we'd done it first thing the day before. There are probably a million reasons not to do this.